wonderful, beautiful parking garage over by Wagon. We are uh, here today because we are going to talk about something exciting happening as it relates to parking. Um, and I'm friend, joined by my good friend Vaughn, who's going to explain it to us. Vaughn, introduce yourself to the kind people. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Vaughn. I'm a senior business management major with the uh, Obstetrics and Accounting my, uh, Finance. Sure. On the positive. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, some of my involvements on campus, uh, I used to work for Indian Rails. Uh, I currently work for New State Family Programs uh, as an intern. Uh, I'm excited to be here today. So, you have lived on campus? Right. Okay. But have you lived off campus as well? I have. Okay. And when you live off campus, as I understand it, um, there's one thing that seems to ever to unite us all, and that is the common struggle for parking, 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 parking. As the person who reads your tweets about parking, I am uh, frequently aware of your struggle, and the university really wanted to do something about it. Um, we can't just build skyscraper lots all over campus. Uh, so what? Instead of getting bigger, we've decided to try to be smarter. So, Vaughn, take me through a little bit on the big announcement here, and, and spotlight's all yours. Yeah, so as Charlie said, uh, we've heard your, uh, your feedback, and uh, IT is finally rolling out something called uh, Smart Parking. Um, it's a mobile, it's on the BSU mobile app, so we can show you it right now. Uh, go into the BSU mobile app, which I'll do. Swipe over to the second page, Smart Parking, right there. You click into it. And boom, there you have it. It's a, similar to the buses where you can see the map and you can see where all the garages are right there. Uh, right now, all that's active is these two green ones, the parking garage and Spring Street. Um, since we're in the parking garage, let's see how much parking is in there. If you click on it, you can see right there, availability, 98%. So right now, if you wanted to park in the garage, you'd, be, you'd have plenty of uh, spaces to park. Uh, another thing I'll point out uh, is Hooper and Swenson right there, the two blue ones. Uh, if you click into it, you can see it's uh, coming soon. Um, so the app is right, it's in its beta form right now. Not the app, but the module itself. Right. Of smart, so smart parking, smart parking is in the beta form. Um, so uh, not all the parking lots are available right now, but the two main ones, the garage and Spring, uh, Spring Street, are available to use. And eventually, we will roll out. And just explain how this, and we talked about the app, but how does it actually work on the car? Actually, we have a computer here. Yeah, we have a computer here. Let's see and see if we can look at the uh, So the sticker is located by your inspection sticker right on the front uh, window. The reason for that is um, uh, it has a RFID code. If you want to, right there in the middle, you can kind of see it. There's an RFID uh, tag that uh, when you go into a parking lot, uh, an antenna at the lot will pick up the tag and it will put you onto or count you as a tally. Um, so it keeps a running, a real time running total of how many cars are in the lot. And um, that way we know how many people are in the and lot. Just stop it first. <laughs> we know how many people are in the lot and we can keep track of them. Um, now, when they come in and have a lot, I know a lot of people with good reason are concerned about privacy. How does this work in terms of? Tracking my application. Will Big Brother or Fred know where I am at all times? Fred always knows where I am. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, RFID code or tag, it picks you up as you go in, and then when you uh, go out, it picks you up as well, and it uh, deletes your record uh, as you leave. So, it, you don't know where any so, yeah, you necessarily, it's just in the car. So they just know that you're in here, and then once you leave, they have, they have no idea you are. So, uh, and run this, you might have mentioned this, run this over for me again, okay, we're talking about the new smart parking development at two lots here on campus. The garage is one of them, the uh, famous Spring Street lot is the other one. Hooper and Swenson are coming soon, hopefully. Yep. So, um, when, uh, when, the, when you're on the app and the icon is green, it means you're good to go, right? Like, just come on in, there's tons of parking left. Any other, the other colors are involved? Oh, absolutely. So, there's a, uh, green is for good, is, is, is plenty of parking. Uh, then there will be yellow, uh, meaning uh, you might have a chance. Uh, it's kind of like if you're a gambling person, if, if you're 10 minutes away, you might have a chance. Go, go. Definitely don't speed. We don't encourage that. Don't look at that while you're driving as well. Um, but, um, and then there's also red. So if you're leaving your house uh, and you see that the, for some reason Spring Street is red, uh, maybe you know, check out the garage. Check out for some reason, which would be that everybody tries to park there. Yeah, you know, nice know. Bond, so it's very <laughs> nice of you to do it that way. Um, so uh, we don't want to look at the app we're driving, obviously, and eventually it will be more widely.
widely spread to other um, lots on campus here. The, um, this also, I would imagine, one of the things that we always see on campus is really familiar is that circle, right? Like you're kind of like, uh, I will not use Woodstock, but you're circling, following some of the cars and kind of thing. Um, less time to that, I would assume, with this app. You don't have the, the gets anymore. Exactly. So you can literally, as you're leaving your house, you can check, see what lots are uh, available, and base your trip on that. Um, and then once you're there, it's got a Spring Street pool. You can check, just make sure, and you don't have to idle around or circle around. So just to review, I'm going to run down, you're going to be professor, I'm going to be student, and I'm going to see how I do here. I like that. New smart parking app in two garages, and it's part of the BSU mobile app, which is available on uh, the Android operating system as well as iOS. Um, it's a module on the second page, you hit it, and boom, right away you get a map of the garage, uh, parking garage behind Wagon, and also the, um, the Spring Street lot. See, show you in real time. That's the key, right? I mean, this is up to the minute stuff, 24 hours a day. Absolutely. Very good. Beautiful. Um, and uh, if anybody has any questions about the new app, they're welcome always to send us a DM or send us a, a message. We'll be able to help out. And, yep. And you, can always, you can always also reach out to uh, the IT department. Um, they can, their email is itsupport at bridgew.edu. And the phone number is 508-531-255. Wow. Impressive. All right, happy parking, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.